Hi, today we will discuss about conditional sentences. How to use conditional sentences in daily conversation. My name is Deva Prataraya. We need to learn some basic grammar for speaking fluently or understanding others what actually they are saying. So let us start with conditional sentences. If you study, you learn new things. If you study harder, you will pass the exam. If you studied, you would pass the exam. If you had studied harder, you would have passed the exam. Now I give you the explanation. The first sentence, if you study, you learn new things. It's a zero conditional sentence because it is general truth. If first one happens, the second one also happens. For scientific truth or general truth, zero conditional sentences are used. You must know that condition part is the if part, not the second one. The second sentence, if you study harder, you will pass the exam. We are talking about the future probability. There is a high probability that you will study harder and you will pass the exam. And this is first conditional sentence. The next sentence, if you study it, you would pass the exam. But you will not study harder and you will not pass the exam. So this is second conditional. When there is a little probability or there is no probability, only hypothetical sentence, then we use second conditional sentences. If you had studied harder, you would have passed the exam. This is the example of third conditional sentences. We are talking about past events, which we cannot change now. You had not studied harder and you didn't pass the exam. We can also speak reverse way, like you will learn new things if you study. In case of zero conditional, we can use when instead of if. Like if you hit ice, it melts. Or you can say when you hit ice, it melts. If it rains, the trees get wet. It is scientific truth. So general truth or scientific truth, we use zero conditional. If plus present simple, comma, present simple. If it rains, I will not go to the party. So we are talking about future probability. Now it is rainy season, so there is a high probability that it will rain. In that case, I will not go to the party. Structure is if plus present simple, comma, simple future. If I were you, I would accept the offer. This is a hypothetical idea or situation. I cannot be you. So when low probability or zero probability we mention, that time we use second conditional. If I had some time, I would help you. But in reality, I have no time. Sentence structure, if plus past simple, comma, would plus base verb. Past simple, you know, subject plus past form of the verb. If I had met you, I would have joined the course. We are talking about past. I did not meet you and I did not join the course. This type of sentences are called third conditional. If plus past perfect, subject plus would have past participle form of the verb. Past perfect, subject plus had plus past participle form of the verb. So now you can guess the differences between these sentences. If it rains, the trees get wet. If it rains, I will not go. If it rained tomorrow, I wouldn't go. If it had rained yesterday, I wouldn't have gone. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so that I can upload more and more videos for you. To get instant notification, press the bell icon. If you want to practice spoken English, then you can join my WhatsApp group. The link is given in the description box. You can practice from anywhere, anytime. Thanks.